gosh, it's great to see you, pal. Yo, what's up there, guys? It's the Wiz. Back at it again for another Owl House video. <laughs> right here, right now, so let's get right to it. No! Of course, as you already know, tomorrow, well, I mean, guess technically midnight. For those of you that have a Disney Now app, which I do, but your boy needs his beauty sleep over here, so I'm not going to be doing that. What? What are you talking about, Ed the Wiz? You'll stay up till 2 o'clock in the morning just for the possibility, possibility, possibility of a Kingdom Hearts trailer. Tell you the things that series has made me go through. But yeah, of course, you know, the season finale for the Owl House. Oh, and it's only 20 minutes long too. And of course, you know, this is only season one. We are gonna be getting season two, but oh man, who knows how long that's gonna be with the pandemic and everything going on around here. Thank God we still have Amphibia to keep us company for right now. So what I kind of wanted to do is just go ahead and place like my final guesses, some theories, predictions. I did want to do a video about the Emperor, but I couldn't. All that Kingdom Hearts stuff came out. Yo, did you hear the new Dearly Beloved Jazz thing? Da -da 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 -da. Yo, yo, it's so good. Go check that out. So without further ado, get started. Number one, let's go ahead and talk about your girl Lilith. Okay, I do believe Lilith will indeed end up betraying the Emperor and help your girl Luce and Ida. Now one thing for sure, we most likely are going to be getting the explanation as to why Lilith ended up cursing Ida, because there is this one scene of this mysterious character in a purple like cape thing and of course uh, chilling in the market and of course we did see during the reveal that Lilith cursed Ida, Lilith was wearing a very similar outfit, it was purple, so most likely we are going to be getting that little origin over there now. Now whether of course it was a legit reason is kind of up in the air Ugh, you know regardless i still want to see Luz beat the snot out of lilith but i mean there's a couple um things that makes me feel like she will end up betraying the emperor aside from like you know guilt there is this one scene of course where we do see the emperor talking to lilith we haven't seen this scene but we're most likely going to be getting it here and maybe he's like going to end up bamboozling lilith like oh you know curing your sister that was a good idea at first but eh, i think i'm going to use it for something else maybe public execution you know to put a good example out there let the people know like hey we captured the most powerful witch in the boiling isle so any of you other witches who think you could just roam around and do whatever you want nah this is my city son or this is my dead body uh, made out of a place whatever son <laughs> you're gonna listen to me so i feel like the emperor is gonna end up doing something to ida that lilith might exactly not be too comfortable with she'll be a little bit regretful she'll be like I don't know about this. Did I make the wrong decision? Oh, my heart. It's not in the right place over here because we do see that she clearly is very distraught, sad from this one scene. She is holding Albert and of course she is in the room where most likely she was talking to the Emperor. So the Emperor is probably going to say something that's going to start putting doubts in Lilith's mind and then, you know, we'll have Luce come in, knock some sense into her or maybe just pull off a good old Taku no Jutsu because we do know that Luce is of course that main protagonist and since you're a main protagonist and you like anime and whatnot, of course, Taku no Jutsu will work with you 100% of the time. So, uh, Lilith betraying the Emperor, I could see that happening. I mean, there's a couple scenarios too where I can see it happening. Like, we do know that Luce is going to come in contact with the Emperor. Ooh, oh no, like, okay, Luce, I'm sorry, you're great, you're awesome. Luce no Seta, let's go, I love the name over here. But you against the Emperor, nah, you don't really stand a chance over here. So what I think could happen is that maybe Lilith will end up freeing all the other um, wild witches that are, like, you know, in prison. And, you know, the Emperor's going to be like, whoa, what's going on over here? My kingdom, no, it's being destroyed because let's not forget there is that one little scene where we do see the emperor bellows um he's got like a little poster of himself and someone tears it down perhaps a little revolution within the kingdom if you will so yeah but if that's the case like you know ooh, the emperor's probably gonna find out about that or you know he's definitely gonna find out about lilith helping Ida and Luce because we did see in that previous episode that apparently the Emperor, your man's got eyes he was able to like you know kind of communicate with Luce when she was in the um the uh what is it called uh odin's treasure room or whatever the tesseract wasn't there i can't believe it he was like i see you guys so yeah i think lilith is definitely going to be screwed by the end of this episode what's going to happen to her 
is a real big question. Like, you know, we do know that everyone is kind of like shocked around the town. What if, you know, people were saying maybe it's a public execution that they're going to be doing. Maybe um, it's a parade for capturing Ida the Owl Lady. Maybe they're going to celebrate the, the day of unity that's coming out. But maybe they're actually going to be announcing like, yeah, Lilith, she's a traitor. We're going to make an example out of her. Something along those lines. I don't think they're going to kill her. Maybe, maybe, uh, she, I don't know, maybe the Emperor will absorb her magic or something. Or maybe the Emperor is going to pull a Yazora from Kingdom Hearts 3 and like, you know, freeze her. <laughs> no, don't do that. But that would be really interesting if, you know, uh, we end Season 1 with us having to go ahead and rescue Lilith. But all right, that would be a pretty interesting change in pace. Not to mention, ooh, that would be some interesting character dynamic for someone like Ida. Because, you know, like, ooh, my sister betrayed me. But, ooh, my sister's being captured by this man that I don't like over here. Ooh, so now we gotta go ahead and rescue Lilith. But, oh man, you're poor girl Lilith. Well, I say poor girl. It really depends. It really genuinely depends on what was the reason for cursing Ida. And I've already made a bunch of predictions. So if you want to watch that video, you know, you can go ahead and watch it over there. But depending what goes down, we'll see Lilith. I think she will end up he uh, helping Ida and Luce. Maybe she'll actually have a cure for Ida. We'll see. But by doing this, she is going to screw herself over because the Emperor does not play games. So those are kind of all my ideas when it comes to Lilith. Now let's talk about Ida. Ida, I am confident she will end up being saved by the end of this episode. I'm sure she'll be cured in some capacity. The question is, though, will she actually have the remedy for the cure? Or is Lucius going to pull like a Taka no Jutsu? Ida, believe in yourself. Don't let the Nine Tails control you. And she'll just be like... I got this so you know she'll uh, be able to tame the beast like she'll still be cursed but she'll at least have some overall control over it or plot twist she ends up uh you know ending season one with her in the owl mode body but with full control eh, i don't think it's gonna happen like like i think ida will turn back to normal mainly because one once again ida is a very main pivotal character to um the show of course she's like the second main character compared uh to loose so to start off season two with uh, Ida still kind of in owl mode or cursed, I just don't see that happening. So I think Ida will be uh, cured. And I think Ida might actually give loose Owlbird. Talk about character development over here. Because we do know Owlbird and Ida have a very special bond. Ida made Owlbird. They've been together for a long time. And the only reason I'm saying that is because one, it'd be a real be a beautiful character uh, moment over here between the two the relationship would be amazing but if you also also look at all the posters you always do see loose holding on to albert even in the opening you see loose go out the house of albert now of course that's because loose is pretty crazy she's very hype very hyper she's just really excited she wants to get in on this and Ida's like nah you're not ready but now she could be ready she, she could have finally proven herself by you know of course completing such a big feat which was once again saving your girl Ida over here so all right oh you know what i should probably mention this too you know how i was talking about how lilith um might end up freeing all the prisoners maybe it's gonna be king maybe king will do that because if there's one thing that i learned from rapunzel's tangled adventure it's that your boy pascal always saves the day every single episode no matter what the situation is your boy saves the day so <laughs> I can see King actually low-key <laughs> being really good over here, but all right, that's pretty much uh, all I have when it comes to Ida. She will be cured. Maybe she'll give Alberta loose. So next up on the list, of course, we have Luz Nocera. All right, what is going to go down with Luz? See, this kind of upsets me now because technically, since Luz is saving Ida... Emperor Bells is gonna come in contact with Luce. I guess that means no more school. No, you do realize all the good stuff started happening when she went to school. Oh boy, but hey, like teacher, like student, she is now a fully wanted criminal. So, all right, we're gonna have season two end with Luce on the run over here that'd be pretty interesting now here's a little, another idea that i have that maybe maybe might happen like this will depress me if it actually happens but we do know we do see the human door kind of appear now i don't know who's opening the human door maybe it's lilith maybe it's ida maybe it's loose maybe one of them is suggesting to go to the human world to escape but one thing that i can kind of see happening which would be really interesting is that maybe loose ends up getting pushed uh, yeah, you know, to the human world and they lock her out. So now season two is going to be focused on Loosh trying to get back to the Boiling Isles. And I wonder how that would work because does magic still even work 
in the human world? I mean, I know owl bird works, but technically he was like part owl. He was just like owl mode when he was in the human world. I didn't see him use any magic, not that I can recall. I know the door works for sure, but how would Luce get back? That would be an interesting cliffhanger. It'd be make me go lose my mind, but I can totally see something like that happening. Or, you know, maybe the door is just there so that Luce is trying to help them, you know, get away. Something along those lines. But Luce is, ugh, man, I feel... I don't know, your girl is definitely gonna save the day, but we'll see what ends up happening over here. Now, moving on, uh, when it comes to the Emperor, you know, what about the Emperor himself? Are we gonna see those big plans go into motion? I will say there is this one picture that kinda has me a little bit scared, which involves these three face statue people, and it actually matches with one of the stories from Yazora, which of course, uh, I, I'm Azora, I keep saying Yazora, what are the chances that Yazora, Azora, I mean, they sound so identical, I feel like this main statue thing might be like final boss territory over here, I don't think it's going to be activated in this episode, because it's only like 20 minutes long, but like I was saying, there is this thing that matches with Azora, which shows, um, you know, Azora, two characters in the sideline, which is most likely Ida and King, facing off against this three-headed person uh i don't know maybe the emperor loki is actually trying to awaken this statue like we do know that the titan is most likely involved in this in some capacity but maybe the titan is just to throw us off maybe this thing is the actual bad guy i'm wondering when it comes to bellows if we'll see him unmasked like you know what is emperor bellows is he just is he a demon uh is he like so loki this leech thing that might have accidentally bumped into um some part of the titan when he was dead and now it's being possessed by the titan or you know is this like is the emperor a lifeless corpse that's being controlled by the titan is it the titan himself like you know there's a lot of theories and a lot of questions out there uh i don't i don't think we'll get the full like face reveal if anything but i feel like you know it might end off in a cliffhanger of sorts where it shows like okay now our plan is coming into motion yo i want to see amity's reaction to at least one thing here and that's the most unfortunate part that's probably gonna happen is we're only gonna get one scene with your girl amity and i'm going to be so annoyed okay you know what there's one thing that i have noticed the creator did say we were supposed to be introduced to creepy loose we haven't seen Creepy Loose yet. Let's not forget, there is this one person, well, there's this supposed Loose out there in the human world at the camp, well, uh, writing notes to Loose's mom. Yo, I can totally see this being the cliffhanger. Watch, check it out. Like, okay, Ida and the gang are safe inside Hootie. We're all good. And then it's going to pan to the human world and we see Creepy Loose. What is Creepy Loose? You know, some people are saying that maybe since Loose entered the Boiling Isles, a demon ended up replacing her. My whole theory, you can go ahead and check this out over here, is that most likely it is an abomination impersonating as Loose. But I feel like maybe the big cliffhanger could be Creepy Loose because we haven't seen anything about that since we got that during the whole Lumity dance. Yo, you remember that? Oh, yo, the move. So... Oh, wow, it's just it's so funny how it's just only 20 minutes long. So mind you, there's only so much we can fit in here. But guys, once again, uh, what I want to know in the comment section below is just, you know, your theories, your predictions. How do you think it is going to go down? So, you know, guys, if you like the video, make sure to give it a big, massive thumbs up as it helps me and the channel out quite immensely. You aren't already. You can follow me on my Twitter. Same thing as my YouTube channel, which is Ed the Wiz. I'm also on Instagram, which is MadSwag12345, where I post all the good stuff. So I have a Discord link will be in the description below. So... Until a couple hours from now, I'll see you for that reaction. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Oh no, don't do this. No, yo, yo, hootie. <laughs>